The next tool that we're going to learn about is the knife tool, and it can also be used to cut vector artwork. To use the knife tool, we actually just drag across a shape, and then instead of creating open paths, we end up with two different closed paths. So let's take a look at Artboard 3, and we're going to see what we're starting with on the left and what we're hoping to finish with on the right. This is like the little LP tank that's going to be on the front of our camper. So we're going to use our selection tool and we're going to click to select this round or oval shape on the left and then zoom in. And <clears throat> we now need, by the way, if you have an object selected and you go to use the knife tool, it will only cut the object selected, even if you keep moving the knife tool over something else on your artboard. As long as something is selected, it keeps its cutting to that item. If nothing is selected and you use the knife tool, it will cut everything that it crosses. All right, we probably don't have our knife tool active, so we're going to add it to our toolbar by coming to the three dots at the bottom of the toolbar. Click on that to get more tools. And then we're simply going to look for the knife tool. Whoops, I feel like I'm spinning quite fast. Um, measure, plug or blend, navigate. Oh, here it is, way down towards the bottom, the knife tool. We want to nest that with the scissors tool. So we're literally going to take this and we're going to drag it up to the scissor and let go. And that's going to nest it with the scissor and eraser and add it there, and it's actually the active tool because it's on top. If we need to get rid of this panel right here, we can just hit escape on our tool or on our keyboard. Come on, go away. There we go. I had to hit it a couple of times. Uh, notice that I do have a knife selected now with a cursor. We're going to move this over to the left edge of our shape. And we're going to drag across it in kind of a wavy line. So just watch first, something like that. Notice my cuts are contained to inside the boundaries of the object. So it stopped here or started here and stopped here. This also was not a straight line. It was a free form cut. So by bending it, I was able to get that to show up in my cut, which is what I wanted. I'm going to take our selection tool and I'm going to click away to deselect and then I'm going to click on the new shape that it made on the top because it cut the two closed shapes and I'm going to give this a fill of the color pink. Peach pink, there we go. Notice this is its own shape and this is its own shape. We're then going to click with our selection tool and grab this square piece and we're going to bring it down on top like that. And now we have something that looks like the object in the book and we're going to marquee select it all and group it all. So we now have our little gas tank ready for us. Um, click away to deselect when you're done with that. So that was using the knife tool to make a freeform cut and to get this wavy line. However, we can also use the knife tool to make a straight line. And we're going to practice that with artboard number four. And we're going to see, this is the end product. And you can see how we have some pieces in here, this yellow piece and a pink piece underneath it. So we're going to do some cutting over on this side. So. Let's use our select tool and click to select this pink triangle and then let's zoom in twice. So command plus, command plus. We're going to switch to our knife tool right over here. And then we're going to bring the knife tool to the top of the triangle and a little bit beyond. And we don't really know where, our, um, where the exact point is with this tool. It's hard to tell. So we're going to hit the caps lock button on your keyboard and that's going to turn it into a crosshair which makes it very obvious where we're starting. We're still using the knife tool, we just have more precision with this crosshair. All right, we are going to position this above the top here and we're basically going to drag straight down but to ensure that we get a straight line we're going to hold a modifier key and any guess which one keeps things straight or 45 degree angles? 
if you just yelled shift at your window, at your uh, monitor, or, or me, <laughs> you're right. So from here, we're going to hold down option and shift. We're going to drag down and we're going to get a nice cut here. So alt on a PC, option on a Mac, and draw a straight line from above the top of the triangle to below it. Let go of your mouse and then let go of your um, keyboard buttons. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to zoom in a little more. Just want to make sure this looks right. All right, next we're going to press and hold option and we're going to drag from just above the top of the triangle at a slight angle to cut this in two. So we're going to start up here and we're going to hold option and we're going to start and we're going to make a cut like that. I can see that mine aren't perfect, so I think I'm going to undo that. I'm going to try to start up here again, come through, there we go. So I'm holding Option, let go of the mouse, then let go of your keyboard. Now hopefully when I zoom in and look at this, they are well placed, these anchor points. It's kind of hard to tell from being zoomed out. So I'm going to go like that. All right, they're not entirely perfect. They didn't all come through this top point, but hopefully they're going to be good enough. So with our selection tool, we are going to click just to deselect, and then we're gonna come over here, and as we hover over, we see three different pieces. This was the original piece that we cut, and then we cut it in half again. So we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna grab this middle triangle, and we're gonna fill it with a yellow color. And then I'm going to zoom out, Command minus, until I can see this whole artboard again. And we're going to marquee drag across our entire tent. And we're going to group that so that we can move that as one unit in the future. And we're going to click to deselect. And then we're also going to be real um, aware that we need to turn our caps lock off. So go back on your keyboard and push the caps lock button again. And there we have used the knife tool to make freeform cuts and to make straight line cuts. And the knife tool is a little bit different in that it makes complete shapes. So instead of creating open paths like the scissor does, you end up with closed paths.